your day with the Manny Roy and Loren Morning Show. I love you guys. This is Beasley Media Group's Kiss 95.1. Wake up and win. Have you gone to the Kiss 95.1 app, signed up, and told us what time you wake up to the MRL Morning Show? If you have. Oh, uh, yeah. Good. <laughs> All you have to do is listen at the time you wake up, and if we call your name, call us back and you get $500. So make sure you go on the Kiss 95.1 app, look for Wake Up and Win, tell us your name, and tell us what time you wake up to MRL, and then just every day, wait for your name. Because you never know. It could happen on a random Tuesday Woo-hoo! that we call your name, Sarah, and say, call in. I don't, by the way, I just picked Sarah. Yeah, We'll like say your first and last right. name. <laughs> like, woohoo guy. Right. Like, woohoo guy. He wakes up at 6.50, so he's now on the clock. Woo-hoo! Call now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got uh, serious business to get to. The city of Charlotte and surrounding areas have been talking about Marissa and Zach for a couple days now, Loren. Mm-hmm. Marissa sent us a direct message with an update. She did. Uh, she's put out a statement, if you will. Okay. Uh, so she sent this direct message, and it says, So after talking with Zach for a few hours after we, re- after we recorded War of the Roses, he agreed to call his friend Seth on speakerphone. Seth didn't know that I was listening, and he admitted that the balloons on the mailbox was a joke. Good. He also says that he's been texting Layla, and that he has a new girlfriend. So there's that. <laughs> and she. Oh wait a minute! Wait, he just blasted hang on, him. Hang on. He's actually been cheating on her. N- no. So Seth, the uh, Seth has a new Seth girlfriend. Seth has a new girlfriend, and he has been texting Layla. Oh, a friend! You just outed the friend. That's <laughs> what her statement says. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I, I don't think, I mean, I don't know what Seth's relationship status is anyway. So if he didn't have a girlfriend, then he does now. That's okay. okay. Uh, she also says, uh, thank you guys for your help. I listen to everyone's comments over the last few days, and I want to thank them too for their input. For now, Zach and I have agreed that this was just a prank gone bad. Was okay. she said for now? Yeah, what she said. In six months, when she brings this back up, in an <laughs> oh, you know this will come up in every <laughs> argument too. Married for three years, lived together for one, so they've been together for a while. Mm-hmm. And how about that? How about Zach stepping up and calling Seth on speakerphone without Seth knowing? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's good. And then, and then Seth admitting on speakerphone in front of Marissa, who now told everyone that he's been texting <laughs> the, the the adult dancer. Yes. So somebody did get her number. Yeah. I guess it happens, man. Yeah. It happens. That's interesting. The whole thing is just way interesting to me. That's good. You know, my biggest concern with this whole War of the Roses is that he wasn't forthcoming with the right. stripper to begin with. So, And that maybe somebody sent a really good theory and said that they had it all figured out. That Zach definitely messed around with this adult dancer, stri- stripper. And she and then told her that he was married. She found out where he lived and then did this as a revenge tactic. Oh, like, that's deep. I said, wait, that's an interesting theory, whoa, though. Wait, yeah. did what as a revenge tactic? Put like the, the balloon there? Mm-hmm. You had to mm. bust him. So then the, they think that the friend is still just going along with it. Yes. Uh, with the say, I don't from... think that's in the realm of possibility, but... Well, I think Marissa just wrapped it up. I mean, if they yeah. had the conversation and the friend just said it... Exactly. And by the way, she said that they talked right after we hung up for War of the Roses. Yeah, she said after after we recorded War of the Roses, Not we talked for hours. Right. right, so we recorded this a couple weeks ago at like yeah. one thirty in the afternoon, so they got right on the phone and talked it out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, good. They're, 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 the couple's fine. Good closure on that War of the Roses, you guys. We got a brand new one for you. Not tomorrow, because at 7.50 tomorrow, we'll have the legendary Friday Free for All to kick off the weekend. On the longest short week ever, by the way. It's only Thursday. <laughs> the I longest know, short week me. ever. We didn't even work Monday. I feel like this week's been going on and on and on. <laughs> Enough we, already. Can we get it, week? <laughs> You're here. I kind of like knowing how w- the War of the Roses ends. Like well, if they really more, break up. Yeah, we need to do more closure stuff. Okay. I, I mean, I know we've asked some people. And some people decline. I feel well, good about it. Well, of course they decline. We blast them on the radio. I know. Yeah. What's that it's, old it's already, thing? It's already a, a, a task of getting everyone to agree to even air it. You want to know the truth? You can't handle the truth? You can't handle the truth. Yes, That's right. That was a movie. Uh, Monday, though, we do have a brand new War of the Roses for you at 750. The dog actually helps in this investigation. <laughs> and uh, if you guys remember, it's rather funny. So that happens Monday morning at 750. Still to come. 
Kanye West doesn't do this too often, but he's apologizing to Drake over something. And I'll tell you what, coming up in the Dirty on the 30 in 10 minutes. Sorry, I was deleting something. Oh. Right. Say that again. <laughs> Dirty on the 30.